tail of the tape for this bantamweight matchup. Yael, the gazelle Watson. He is younger than his opponent, Eve Jabois, who was born in Haiti. But look at the size difference, Joe. 5'6", five, 5'11", five, the reach advantage, 7 inches for Yael Watson, who is one of the tallest members of the bantamweight division. Here is Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavigne. Eve Lavigne, our referee for Jabwe and Watson. And welcome back to beautiful Brittany Palmer. Shazam. <laughs> the trio of lovely ladies octagon side. And here we go. YL the gazelle Watson in the black trunks. Red trunks for his opponent, Yves Jabwe. And Eve showed some outstanding leg kicks in the fight with Garza. Really lit Garza's legs up. And I suspect that he will be targeting the legs of YL. Because YL's got some pretty skinny sticks there. <laughs> you know, to make 135 pounds would be 5 foot 11. And there's that side kick he talked about. Yeah, and, and, you as, and you did as well as in how he tries to use his length very much like John Jones does to keep his opponent way on the outside where he can't do much. And if it's a, if it's a teep, a foot jab, a front kick, a, a, a jab, it doesn't matter. It's some kind of strike to keep your opponent out of harm's way. Yeah, and I, I like the way he said when he was talking about his side kicks. And, you know, side kicks are one of the best kicks to create distance because when you're in the full extension of the kick, your head is literally in the opposite side of your body Great as your point. foot. Oh, oh, big right, right hand by Eve. And another one. We know Jaboy is a veteran, has had great success in his career, 16 wins overall. And he can knock people out. 11 of his 16 wins have come by knockout. Pushing forward is Watson. It's even that little flick of the leg of Jaboy. I mean, Watson's way outside of that range. Yeah, he's literally got to close the distance a solid foot before Watson does, before he can get off his strikes. And what's interesting about this is this sort of mirrors our main event tonight. Yes. A 10 and a half inch reach advantage for John Jones in our main event tonight over Lyoto Machida. See how he throw, when he throws that sidekick, the distance between his foot and his head is so long. Inside leg kicks, you're much more susceptible to punches, leg, straight leg kicks, regular you know, outside leg kicks. But, oh, good right hand by Eve. And a spin and miss and a nice counter and acknowledged indeed. Both men very creative strikers. Midway point of round number one. The combination and forward Lyle is Watson. shoots for a takedown, but Eve's got a hold of him here. Those long legs are very good weapons on the ground for Y.L. Watson. Yeah, if you've uh, never rolled with someone who has long legs, you'd be amazed at positions where they can choke you with their legs where the average person can't. And you, you have to sort of adjust your perceptions of where you're safe. Which is like you said, what happened in the Pablo Garza fight. Yes. To Yves Jaboy. Yes. You had Garza with a flying triangle. Spectacular victory. Trying to work his way back to his feet as the gazelle. Taking some punishment on the way up. Courtesy of Yves Jaboy. And Wael is looking for a Kimura on the left arm. Notice he has that deep uh, underhook. See how he's got his arm hooked here, Mike? Yep. So he has to be careful here. Eve does. Because if Wael drops down, yeah, he's, got, he's got the double wrist position here. If YL drops down with this, it can be very tricky for Eves. Look at that. Nice. Right Threw him right over. Just over a minute on the clock here in the first. Surprised we're not seeing more leg kicks by Eves. Because he, he really showed in the Pablo Garza fight. That he's got some outstanding ones. Primarily a stand-up fighter, at least that is his strength. He does have wrestling 
but he would consider himself a striking specialist. And 11 knockouts in 16 wins would validate that point. He's looking for a right hand, Mike. 30 seconds. That's what's going on here. He's hunting, and what he wants to do is he just wants to time YL's distance and catch him in a spot, and there's that leg kick attempt, but YL way out of the range of that. Trying to run into that kick. That one was checked, though. Nice. Stutter stepped and threw the Superman punch connected with the left. And a good exchange as we reach the end of round one. And there's a spitting back fist attempt and a nice right hand countered by Eves. And here Eve takes YL to the ground. Breathe. Heart rate's going down. Heart rate's going down. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah, good work, Eve. Nice take down. Good work. Good counters. Nice work. That's breathe. Yeah. Okay, Eve. He want, when you come in, he's throwing the left hook. Be careful. Get lower. Get lower. Overhand right is the only punch you're looking for. Overhand right. Good take down. He's a very good kick off. Give me the same thing, but when he backs up, kick his leg. But only when he backs up. Don't kick his leg off the bat. He's got a very long reach. Once you go with good. the combo. Okay? Good. Went right for that thing. Okay? <laughs> Reset that thing. Okay. Deep breath. Deep breathing. Go. Good job, okay? There you go. You first always. Hands up. Yes, sir. The beautiful Ariani set for round two. Flight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Shazam again. <laughs> Do you, have three, do you have three different ones like Shazam? No, no just, no, just, just straight Shazam. Shazam each I'm time. not that creative. Yeah, fair enough. It's consistency is good calls. too. <laughs> yes, consistency is good too. <laughs> Either way, I think the world gets the point, right? Yeah. It's hard not to. It is indeed. Second round. And Pushing now, forward yeah. is Jaboy. In his corner, imploring him to close the distance on YL and put pressure on him. And there he catches the leg kick. Nice right hand. Jaboy fought three times in the WEC at 145. Had a great fight with Mark the Machine Hominick, who was on the pay-per-view card tonight. And that was an amazing fight. Big experience advantage for Jaboy. Big height and reach advantage for Watson. Boy, your boy has a real classic Muay Thai stance, doesn't he? Yeah. Light on those toes, hands are moving around. Good nice. kick. Very nice. And again, what what exactly is happening with Yves Jaboy? Is he's trying to figure out a way to get inside and do what he does best. It's so difficult to deal with a guy who's that much taller than you. It seems like the guy's cheating, you know? <laughs> yeah. He can hit you and you can't hit him. Well, look at what happened to Rampage. I mean, yeah. nobody's really been able to stifle Rampage the way that John Jones did. And that was due to the fact that Quentin could never get inside and do any damage. And Quentin's boxing-centered attack, yes. which makes that height and reach advantage, it accentuates it. There's nice a right powerful hand, kick to the body as well. And then he caught him on the inside leg kick, but it looks like Watson's going to fight through it. But Jaboy's starting to find his home. He's starting to find a couple of spots open. Yeah, I thought that went to the body from the angle that we saw it, but YL grabbed his cup. Yeah, he readjusted. A powerful shot either way, wherever yep. it landed. There's a nice leg kick by you. Classic, and, and you see, you know, you talk about classic Muay Thai jumping into that kick yeah. and turning the hips over. Missed with the spin again. He's gone for that spinning back fist twice as Watson, once in the last round, once here. Just at the midway point of this fight, at 135, between Montreal's Yves Jaboy and Waya Watson, fighting out of San Diego, California. It's funny, YL is... Uh, Taking a page right out of John Jones's book with that sort of stomp kick to the thigh. The Wing Chun style kick. And he tried a spitting kick and landed low. And then Eve responds with one of his own. Second fight at 135 for Jaboy. 
the correct way to fight against a, a real tall guy like this requires a lot of energy. And what that is is varying your your attack as far as how you move in and leaping in and out and you know making your opponent really guess when the attack is coming and when it's a feint. But all that, you know, really intense feinting and moving forward and faking with those kicks and punches requires a lot of energy. 90 seconds now on the clock in round two. Winner of nine of his last ten fights, including his UFC debut as Watson. Nice jab. What you don't want to do with a tall fighter is let him start getting off first and waiting on him. Because if you wait on him and he's constantly attacking you and, and tagging you and just looking for counters all the time, it becomes really hard, especially if he starts connecting. And there's that nice sidekick. Right into the midsection of Jaboy. One of the best weapons, especially the front leg sidekick, is one of the very best weapons for a tall fighter to utilize. Both men have thrown a lot of kicks here in round two. Good knee to the body there as well by Wael. And Jaboy is just still trying to solve this riddle. The riddle of distance. Yes. Oh, spinning oh. back fist. He solved it right there. Very nice. And now he's going to shoot for a single. And Big takedown right now. But he's into a guillotine. He's in a guillotine. Be careful. Oh, this is. This is tight. Yep. It's under the chin. He's got some time, Joe. He's got 10 seconds oh, on the clock. This is good. This Trying is good. Trying to finish it here. right here. Wael's doing it very well. He's, he may finish it. He's got him twisted up. Will he get it? Oh, he's oh, what it. a job done. That's it. That's by it. Chablis. Nice, nice defense and good attempt wow. by Wael. How close was that? That was close. That was a tight choke. Heart rate's going down. Yeah, nice. Heart rate is really going down right now. Heart rate's going down. Good. Good. Give me the water, please. And here's a nice uppercut by YL. And here's a good body kick. Yeah, see, that's the one. I, that was a body kick. I, I didn't think that landed on low. There's a nice leg kick by Eve. And there's that spitting back fist attempt. There's one of them. Another one actually landed. And there's a takedown attempt. And he gets him down, and here's the choke by Wael. Gets those long legs into full guard. Really squeezes tight here. And Eve had to really gut his way out of this and pop his head out. Hands up. Watson has attempted almost hey. twice as many strikes as Eve Jaboy has. Here in this fight, big smile. These guys are having on a good the face time. of both competitors. That's great to see. Yeah, it's a fun fight. Third and final round. Yeah, they were smiling at each other before, asking whether or not they were going to touch gloves, and then they just they <laughs> both started smiling. Inside leg kick, and he's trying to set up Ooh. that right hand with the inside leg kick. That was a Watson. solid right kick by Eve. Check. I like the head movement of Watson. Keeps those shoulders moving. Doesn't become a stagnant target. But a very close fight. Both exchange kicks there. That time Eve timed it well and tacked low as YL was going higher. Try to side kick with his own. And again. He needs work on that one. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to go to Capoeira class. Missing a few spokes. <laughs> <laughs> Checked in return. Yeah, very nicely done by Royale. Oh, I like how he mixed that up too. He doubled it up. Royal Watson is looking for the left leg, the inside leg kick, followed by the straight right. And Jaboy still just hasn't really figured out the best way to attack here. Hard to emulate a training partner, you know, who's 5'11", 135. 
Yeah, because most of the guys that he's going to be sparring with at 5'11 will be larger and heavier, and that's you know that's not really yeah are going to be two are going to be two thirty five yeah. Yeah, Wael reminds me a lot of Corey Hill. Yes. And when you said skinny legs before, that oh, came to mind. That was a solid leg kick. Under three minutes on the clock here in the third and final round. Nice. Nice use of the teep there to keep Watson away from him. And that was a kick. solid one by Eve. He really turned the hip over and got the weight into that and one. And did so with the left as well. Spinning Spin. back Got him. Looking for it. Got it. Oh, look at this. Wael's holding on to that arm. Look at this. Wael on top. Stepping in the half guard. Looking up at the clock is your boy. YL, keep an eye on YL's right arm, Mike. He's sliding it in. He's looking for a Darce choke. As, as Jobwe has this underhook on his left arm, he needs to get rid of that underhook. He's going to need that underhook if he wants to step up, if he wants to stand up. But as, as uh, YL is reaching that right arm through, he's got to be very careful. Now he's in a dangerous position. If YL can connect his hands, and he does right there, Joe Bway's in a bad spot here, Mike. He's got the dar sunk up. Trying to lock it in. Joe Bway did not recognize it. Trying he let that left it. arm stay in there, and YL has him locked up here. Looking for the submission victory. He's looking to make distance with his half guard, but that's not quite good enough. But if YL gets out of this half guard, then Joe Bway's really stuck. And he is out of the half guard. If he just lifts his right leg up, he, he said, said he's, he's not, not moving, moving, but that's not true. He is moving. He's, he's wishful thinking. He's fine. Eve but Levine right there. Now, there he goes. Oh, he lost he it. He is moving. That's twice he's been able. Spinning back kick to the body. To avoid being submitted. And Chaboy says, let's finish this in fashion. That was a closer one, Mike. That was a real bad spot for Chaboy. Big deep breath by Eve Chaboy. And I'm surprised that... Eve got stuck there because he was really telegraphing his intentions. And you can see he's still he's trying tired. to recover yeah. from that. Yeah, the, the breathing pattern was greatly disrupted during that choke attempt. Yeah, no question. Wow, double spin there, huh? Yeah, and he caught him in the back. Kind of in the solar plex area, though. Good Final luck. seconds of this fight. Nice left hand. Joe Blay again just jumping, spinning back kick to the body. Very exciting fight. And they do finish in fine fashion. Wyel Watson, Eve Jabwe go the distance here in Toronto. Couple of great submission attempts for Wyel Watson. And here you see, here's the first one, the takedown. And he locks up this arm here. And here's the dark, dark, the darts choke attempt. As Jobwe sticks his left underhook in, Yael slides his right arm underneath the chin and locks up this darts choke. And this was very, very tight. But Jobwe managed to squirm out of it here and get back up to his feet. And here's the end of the fight. Both men exchanging. And Joe Blay with a jumping, spinning back kick here at the end. Entertaining to say the least. Watson and Joe Blay go the distance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score this contest 29 28, Watson. 29 28, Joe Blay. And 30-27 for the winner by split decision, Eve Pagan-Jabwe! Eve Jabwe by split decision! Earns the victory here tonight! Second win by split decision. I am here with the winner, very happy Eve Jabwe! Eve, that was
was a very, very close fight and a very exciting one. It seemed like you're having a, a difficult time dealing with that big, long reach. First thing first, it's an honor to be here. And one of my dreams was to be interviewed by Joe Rogan. And I'm here and did. Anyway, what was the question? The question was, how difficult was it dealing with his reach? Oh, man. They keep giving me those tall guys, man. Papa hey, Garza. Exactly. You know, it's real hard to get inside. But you got to get inside being the shorter guy to punch. So basically, it's a puzzle piece that you have to, to figure out. Now, there was two very close choke attempts by him. How close were they? They were close. They were tight. But the wheel was there. The wheel, the heart. It's bigger than everything else. Well, you got it out, sir. Congratulations on your victory. Can't wait to see you again. Yves Jobway, ladies and gentlemen. That's a fired up Yves Jobway. My father not here to see me. That's right, Star James. He said, Food, my die. Yves Jobway, folks. I'm going to look at the bottom.